Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to your Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast, where we discuss the previous week in gaming, maybe go over a topic or two. I'm one of your hosts, Elijah, sitting across from me as always. Alex. Hello, brethren. How are you? I'm good. We um, had, of course, as always, oh, zero, yes. zero problems starting yeah. this podcast. We came in, sat down, started it, no problems, right? Yeah. So well, let's yeah. not even bring it up because it was so easy. And check us out on all of your <laughs> broadcast services of your choosing and head over to YouTube every Friday to give us the listen, give us the likes, and if you enjoy us even more than that, you can head over to patreon.com slash easyachievers, get your exclusive for the every month for only a dollar. That's every month that we've been on Patreon, so you got a good backlog to go through if you want to head over there. And there's other tiers as well. If you're a freeloader, don't worry, we are too. You can give us the five stars, you can give us all the likes, you can give us all the watch times. You can support us when you can with your eyeballs rather than from your wallet. If you want to scream at us, go over to our socials, Twitter at EMM1000 and Crazy Flip Skater from Mr. Alex. We got a lot of news to go over. Do we now? And some celebratory nonsense to go over too. Oh, Alex, yeah. I have a question. What is your question? But before I ask that question, Alex, mm. I got just one thing to say. What's your one thing? Kingdom Hearts Collection is coming February 18th. Fine. Nah. Yeah! Uh, right, that's I what, okay. I don't want to get copyrighted, so I stopped doing that. But right. I'm very excited. Yes, Finally. I'm very excited. Yes. You know, We're getting some Kingdom Hearts on Xbox. Now, we did have Kingdom Hearts 3, of course. Yes. But we did not get the full collection. Not the full, yeah, no. See, that's, and that's being now, changed February 18th. Yeah. And see, now we need the whole collection. Get the And now, has this not been press released at all? Has this just been Phantom dropped? Phantom dropped, yep. On the store with the, with the date? It has. It's weird. It's I, strange. It's, it's weird because I checked the Microsoft store. Or at least on the Xbox, and it's not on there yet. I saw a link to the store on the PC. On the, yeah, the PC, I think there's on there, but I, it's not on the I systems saw yet. 2.8 is up, kind of. Does it say the price? No. It was like a weird thing mm. as well. I, it, this is all weird. Yeah. Why Why does it go up without anything? And, and I get, not taken down, I guess, but it is still, I Maybe believe, they're getting accessible. The, what's the word? The slot ready for it? So, like, <sighs> maybe, I don't know. Maybe someone accidentally hit enter. Yeah, maybe someone hit, hit, didn't hit control. <laughs> that person is like, is like, oh god, you hit enter. I don't know how to delete. <laughs> oh no! And, and then it's over. It's All they have is edit, <laughs> edit, edit. <laughs> edit. It can't, it can't replace edit. Was it control, control alt delete? Yeah, yeah. You can't yeah. like control delete any of it. Yeah, Alex. Mm. Let's get back to it. I have that question I've been wanting to ask. Yeah, what have you been playing? Season four of Apex. Yes assimilation what as a returning apex player do you think because you played how much of i played season one and two mm -hmm. and I you played in... some before there were seasons i'm pretty sure yes no yeah yeah, yeah. I, I don't think I, i've been playing I, I don't play like 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 hardcore mm -hmm. but I'll, I'll jump on all the time mm -hmm. and i've been playing since it's launched mm -hmm. uh the only time i haven't played much was season three i got on maybe once or twice but i was just busy or other stuff going on right. didn't play three much but i came back to this one because the new the new character boy let me Revenant. tell you he's my he's my main now for, for, for now. everyone who doesn't know he's a all cyborg robot slash dude and he's like an assassin character yeah he's really cool he has a cool passive mm -hmm. you get to crouch and walk really fast yeah and you can climb up walls faster i use this passive as a grenade all the time, and I love grenades. So, oh, his uh, his ability or not or his whatever. passive? I'm sorry, his uh, his, his tactical. Ability. Yeah, his thing with silence. I think is what it's called. Silence is like abilities for ten seconds. That's cool too. Uh, I think so. Isn't yeah, it? the LB. Yeah, yeah the LB. LB and yeah, shoot the thing. Mm -hmm. And then his alt is weird. The totem. You basically, make a totem, and you can not die. You'll go back to the totem. Mm -hmm. So it's like a protection. And is it, I can't remember. Is it? It's. I think it's for all of us, not just. Me. Yeah, it's all. You okay, just have yeah, to go thought, over and hit X on it. Yeah, that's if you you can opt in or out of it. Um, uh, I have also been playing. If that has always me and Alex usually play together. We have to get mm -hmm. back today because they have the special Valentine's. The Valentine's, event. yes. Yeah, I don't know if they have any. I don't think they have exclusive cosmetics or anything. But I thought there was a Lifeline skin. Not gonna lie. Maybe I don't maybe. know. We'll, we'll you're, see. You're, you're more of a Lifeline. Oh yeah, person. Lifeline main all the way. Yeah. Get my little bot, throw it at you, mm -hmm. heal you up. Um, 
I finished Outer Worlds How right before that? getting here. Yeah, right before getting literally like up to the minute. I was like, I'm about to beat this, so let me beat it and <laughs> then like, I can talk me, about it. When I, be like, where are you? Give me a f- give second. me ten more minutes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So yeah, I beat it. Mm-hmm. Um, two things. Okay. Great game. First off, yeah. just because it, it gets good when it be, starts becoming Mass Effect-y. Okay. With c- crew members. Yeah, you told like me that. Those are my like, favorite. Yeah, parts. there's a. Part, not what is it called? Companions. Quest. Yeah, there's yeah. companions, there's command quests, which is always my favorite. You learn yeah. more backstory <clears throat> about them. Um, the decisions are fun. You can always persuade people. Um, they have a good way of making like persuasion like a huge part of the game, where you can like completely change certain aspects. I'm pretty sure I got like the best ending you can. I don't know. Okay. But, um, I got a really good ending. I liked the characters. Everything was fun. The only thing I didn't like, it seems there is no. New Game Plus isn't the right word, but, like, there is no continuation after you beat the game. Okay. Which is always, like, a pet peeve for me. It's like, so, kind of, like, remember in, I think it's Fallout 3, once you beat the game, it's, like, yeah, it just reverts you, it yeah, just reverts in, you back. In the original one, uh, the original Fallout 3, which I mean by that is, like, before DLC, yeah, it, was, it just ended. Yeah. You can play it, but when, um, whatever DLC came out, it extended the ending, basically. Mm-hmm. That was cool. Um, but like you were able to do other stuff in this game, yeah. it looks like it just ends, and I always hate that because I'm like, well, mm-hmm. let me go back into the world and yeah. do stuff. Um, but yeah, I I like the game. Definitely okay. recommend it, especially if you have Game Pass. Like if you have Game Pass, you got the game. So since Outer Worlds is by Obsidian, which is the people who made Fallout New Vegas, but you said there's more, it has companions and things like that. So you said it's mis- feels like Mass Effect. What? What does it feel more like, a Bethesda game or an EA mm, game? Great question, Alex. What does it feel more like? Like, you know, Dragon Age and Mass Effect, that's those, you know, it's, you can tell it's like an, a Bioware game. Yeah. Like, let's say Bioware versus a Bethesda game. I do feel like they differentiate themselves enough to yeah. say they're original, not ripping anything off, per mm-hmm. se-ish, you know? I, don't okay. say, I wouldn't say they're, like, a complete ripoff. It is... It's more Fallout than Mass Effect, for okay. sure. Yeah. But anything with a companion is for sure like, oh, this like feels like Mass Effect. Yeah. Okay. But um, it is very, very, very Fallout. Like, okay. very Bethesda. So it's still like, you know, you can feel like it, it's a Bethesda game. Yeah. Okay. It definitely feels like it. Okay. Because, um, of course, they made New Vegas. So, I mean, they know Fallout games. Um, I, I, I love the game. I mean, <laughs> if I had a rig, it is better than Fallout 4. And it's better than 76, oh, wow. okay. which I feel like isn't even out. So it's better. So Outer Our Worlds is better than four, Fallout Four. Yeah, I think so. All right, it's good. It's really good. It's yeah. real good. I like. I like the dialogue. Like I said, the, especially when you can nail persuasion. Yeah, which is my favorite part when I can like convince people to do stuff. That's always fun. Yeah. Um, Alex, mm. we got some news. Okay, Alex, this is another thing that I tweeted about a few days ago, mm. and. I, you know, it's very rare when I can point to a single thing and be like, I was right. <laughs> this is one of those times, Alex. Phil Spencer says, Compu- uh, competition is Google and Amazon, not Nintendo and Sony. This <laughs> is over on US Gamer. This is the next generation of zooming overhead yet. Xbox head Phil Spencer doesn't seem worried about the direct opposition when it comes to Microsoft's competition. Spencer uh, says it will be Amazon and Google, not Nintendo and Sony. In fact, Microsoft is fairly open to working with its usual console rivals, which we've seen, of course, with Nintendo getting Cuphead and Ori and Sony and them partnering for cloud-based gaming. Remember that? Mm -hmm. Remember when they were doing that weird thing that they're helping them with their cloud based oh, software yeah, yeah, yeah. i don't know what that yeah entailed. that was whole weird thing, yeah they yeah. took a picture very stagnant and st- like it's, yeah. ho- like doing a handshake it's like oh yeah. boy. loosen up a little guys yeah <laughs> speaking of protocols spencer identifies cloud infrastructure as a key point that microsoft has over sony and nintendo which is what we've been saying microsoft has the azure platform which can enhance its x cloud streaming service putting up it against things like amazon web services rather than a new playstation quote when you Mm. talk about nintendo and sony we have a ton of respect for them but Mm. we see amazon and google as the main competitors going forward spencer told protocol that's not to disrespect nintendo and sony but the traditional gaming companies are somewhat out of position i guess they could try and recreate azure but we've invested tens of billions of dollars in cloud over the years end quote alex Mm. you know (laughs) i don't want to say we're right but if you go back, and I guess we could technically be lying, but we posted our last episode Wednesday of last week. Mm-hmm. 
And the next day or day of, mm-hmm. he released this quote. <laughs> and we were talking about this last week, which, which is weird. It's one of those weird oh, coincidence, yeah, yeah. Things, coincidence things yeah. where we're saying, does this Phil slash Xbox even care about PlayStation anymore? Mm, and here nope. we go right here saying mm. that exact quote, nope. cloud-based future. And they do not see Sony and Nintendo in being a threat pretty much. At all. No, and yeah. I, I, you know, I agree, of course. That, like I said, we talked about this last week. I, I can see, like he says right here, how do they even come up with what they've done, right? Xbox is next to Microsoft, which makes some of the biggest com- computer, I mean, everything, I mean, cloud, everything. Any I mean, Windows computer. I mean, it's a Windows computer. For, yeah, Windows. Yeah. Windows is Microsoft. PCs almost. All, right? micro- all Microsoft Windows. Yeah, so it, it's just that it, Sony or Nintendo mm-hmm. have nothing even close to that yeah. a- ever, probably. I mean, Sony has... um. Oh, what's the name? I'm blanking on the name. They have PS what? Now, which is oh. uh, the work View? of... No, no, no. no, no. PlayStation oh. Now is the, uh-huh. the service that yeah. you can download stuff. The Game Pass I don't remember like... the company that they bought to have that. But oh. they have that. Um, okay. But that that's not the same as this. The, that's for a very small aspect. This is like t- millions and millions and, and bi- like billions of people. Mm-hmm. So they're they're working a different lens than, than let's say Nintendo, which they're just worried about who's going to buy the next Switch slash Nintendo game. Mm-hmm. So this is very exciting for the future, especially since we keep gearing up to Project X Cloud and mm-hmm. how 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 much that experience will entail into the future of Xbox, yeah. especially when we're talking about series x and then what's after that is there yeah. systems are there just these services we pay for it, i don't know it's like um before it was microsoft and xbox or excuse me microsoft and sony were always like oh uh it's like it's like a uh, what's the what's the type of thing it's like oh you know uh like uh, outdo themselves yeah, outdo they're them, trying to outdo each other outdo each other so yeah. i was like oh i'm gonna do this so how, what are you gonna do mm-hmm. now sony is like oh i'm gonna do this what are you gonna do so and microsoft's like dude i'm not even playing anymore we're, we're not Let, even let's, I'm, I'm like I'm, we said i'm last growing week, up they're playing i think it was chess or checkers and oh yeah i was playing poker and like they're t- completely different games and they're nothing mm-hmm. to do with each other so yeah, 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 I, yeah i do think that phil is being honest and not like trying mm-hmm. to throw shade as the kids no say. yeah and he is being honest, like, we aren't worried about that stuff anymore because we don't need to worry about this stuff anymore. We want you to pay for Game Pass. And we want you to get on Project X Cloud and question mark pay for that when it comes out. I don't That's know. My That's my thing. I, I want to see what it all entails. Like, is it, is it the same thing of what I'm playing right now as the beta? I'm like, what, or is there going to be more features? I mean, like, I assume eventually it will get more yeah. features right now. I mean, I assume I'll be able to play beta. all my games and oh, stuff. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, he said as much. And, um, yeah. What was it called when they were in London? Oh, uh, XL. XL, thank yeah. you. Um, uh, the, he said that eventually it's going to work into you'll have your home library, you'll have all Game Pass, and then mm-hmm. they'll just keep moving until um, it becomes a f- full product for someone oh, to yeah, actually for sure. pay for and buy <coughs> Stadia, um, Stadia mm-hmm. being the one we all look at and be like, w- w- you could have done that. <laughs> you yeah. could have waited and, and bit done a beta, but they didn't. They did not. Like I said, five years, man. I, I'll give Stadia five years. And uh, I don't know. I don't think it's going to. I don't know, man. No. I, I, I have no idea. And, it's, and see, my thing is I don't want it to be gone because I think of course like, not, it sounds right? cool. But I want competition everywhere as possible, right? Well, because Ooh, it makes, yeah. well, I want to do yet to be successful. Yeah, well, because care. it makes everybody want to be better. So. Of course, right? Yeah. That's how we get Xbox doing Game Pass and yeah. all these new things because they were behind in, in, you know, in quotes, behind or whatever mm. you want to call that. Um, so I'm excited for the future of that. I'm excited for whatever Phil is, you know, behind the scenes doing whatever he's trying to uh, get t- together to try and push Xbox slash Microsoft even further beyond. Because mm. if a little news, I don't know if you guys read that it, the Microsoft teaming up with the Army to establish mm. a cloud service, which makes it even more crazy, crazy. It's crazier. that yeah. and, you know that can influence the gaming as well because they can learn more and get more money through that there's a whole different i mean layer of fries I mean, there God, if you too. notice that people are using those um those uh, god what are they called there's these little ro there's uh in military and i know nasa sometimes uses but the the rovers yeah. and then the, like the for nasa's like the rovers and mm-hmm. then for military it's like the 
bomb squad cart things yeah. like they were and they're using 360 controllers oh yeah because they're yeah they're yeah. all on pc basically they're basically yeah it's PCs just moving P- yeah, it's a pc you, yeah. so yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's all cool stuff too yeah alex speaking of cloud-based services mm-hmm. nvidia which maybe i'm a silly man and i did not see this coming but nvidia's geoforce now game streaming service just became available to everyone and it's already better oh, than wow. google stadia throwing I, shade I, I saw this throwing shade so, i wanted to try it but mm-hmm. then I, I looked at my computer and i was like i i, I shed it i had that vi- tiny violin mm-hmm. shed a tear from my because my it won't run it, it. You, you look at it and you're like yeah not, not, i was like because i want to try it just it sounds cool. like no it won't happen yeah I'm mm-hmm. waiting for the day that I come in and you're you got a 12 gauge so- shotgun to the back of your computer's head and just put it out of its misery. Out of its misery. <laughs> yep. It's, it just looks at me. He's like, "Do it, do it, do it, do it." <laughs> Nvidia announced on Tuesday the full release of its GeForce Now game streaming service, which has been in beta for several years. Again, <clears throat> I'm a silly boy. I did not see any of this. GeForce mm-hmm. Now will compete against other streaming services like Google Stadia. With that said. GeForce, uh, GeForce Now is geared towards PC gamers rather than console players, uh, as GeForce Now supports PC GeForce, games. GeForce, by the way. Sorry. But Am I can... saying GeForce? Yes. I just realized. I, I just realized. I, re- I kept saying, I kept, I'm like, there's I no believe, way he's saying that. I'm I believe like, GeForce it's... is, a, is a, uh, a hero in DC Comics, I'm pretty mm. sure. So, GeForce. GeForce sorry, guys. Yeah. But it is on the GeForce. phone already, by the way. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, it supports PC game stores like Steam, Uplay, mm-hmm. Epic, and Battle.net. Mm-hmm. Compared to Stadia Geo... <laughs> now I'm saying, <laughs> now it's in my head. GeForce Now seems to have some major benefits, like significantly large ga- larger game library. GeForce Now also won't require users <laughs> to buy a game. You said it again. Now I'm committed. I'm sorry. Now you're committed. Users to buy just a game. do it. They're already <laughs> owned and want to support a game. Also support GeForce Now. <laughs> <laughs> with players who aren't using GeoForce too, but unlike a Google Stadia, uh, GeoForce. How many times are they going to say this? Now, now has one glaring drawback: no 4K streaming. <gasps> oh wow! Wow, that's a big deal. Even yeah, though Stadia deal. doesn't have it either, <laughs> they only have it, I think, in very rare circumstances. So mm. they essentially don't have it either. Oh, okay. Uh, you can. Uh, Go ahead. Go ahead. My page got lost. And I was trying to figure out which, oh, I see, which I paragraph see. you're on, and I actually scrolled down it. more. Um, <laughs> but there is something it. about 4K. Go ahead. Uh, the free version doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. But the paid one does. Same as Stadia. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. I, I thought when I reheard you for a second, I thought you said that there wasn't no 4K at all. That's why mm, I got just I got mm, messed up. Mm, mm. No, you're good. You're good. Please keep uh, keep up. I will make mistakes. Um, I, did, I honestly did not see that. Yeah, because yeah. for the paid five month one, to mm-hmm. compare to Stadia's ten month, you'll get 4K resolution. But for the free one, $5 you don't. Five dollars is what you just said. Yeah, Whew. yeah, it's a five, $5 pay, the paid five months and founders and you and five bucks and you get a free ninety day trial, prior, uh, priority access over free members, six hour uninterrupted gaming sessions, RTX graphics. More on that later. And to compare Stadia's ten dollar month paid service, you get four K resolution gaming, mostly upscales from the ten eighty p and access games as long as you keep your subscription. Which I, I guess that maybe it's talking about Stadia in that in that quote. No, because Stadia's ten. No, no, I'm talking about oh, the four K. Four K thing. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah the four K is for sure. Okay, Stadia. then yeah, you you then you're correct. Okay, I didn't know if, that, if well, I saw the four K and the way I read it. I got you. Yeah. No, that's cool. It's cool. Um, I mean, even more of a reason not to get Stadia, right? Especially, I mean, cause yeah. I would have assumed people who are going to get Stadia are PC people. Oh, who and have they want all the graphics. Who have, who have um, uh, maybe higher end phones? You know, yeah. walking around wanting to play that. Now you got GeForce Now that uses your pre existing library. So like, well, there's real no reason now. I mean, mm-hmm. I can literally not think of a reason to have Google Stadia unless they become <laughs> exclusive games. Unless, and even then, it's like, is it worth it? And this is, and they said this is out now, right? Yeah, this is this went out uh, as of uh, this. The, then this the, printed out which was a few my days My thing is, ago, why isn't a free Google Stadia version out right now? Then, oh uh, yeah, just go because I'm literally gonna try GeForce now. Mm-hmm right now right now <laughs> you hear uh geo i think you said I, geoforce as well i think he i said is, yeah i think is, I said. he's going to try geoforce now right now geoforce of course being geoforce g 
<laughs> we're, we're making jokes. It is yeah. G-Force. We're no, just yeah. having fun. Um, Alex is trying to download it because he cannot wait until we have done recording. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just interested. Anything else to leave on? Again, um, more of a reason not to get Stadia. Sorry if you bought Stadia. It, it's, it, that's my thing is like people are now, like, I mean, like, for example, NVIDIA is making their own. Mm-hmm. And like the, that comment, it's already better than Stadia. Already. I mean, I feel like I wonder if and I think objectively, it's not even like a like for instance, Sony PlayStation. Yeah, or, sorry, PlayStation Xbox. Mm. Like one can that's more subjective. This is objectively better. Right? Yeah, Cheaper oh yeah, for sure. And has more things. Like that's basically all. It's you like need. I'm, I'm wondering if Stadia was just too early. It was just like it the, for sure was. was. It for sure was. They yeah. didn't. They didn't want to say it, but it, of course it was. And, and mm-hmm. you know, we we drum up Stadia. I think every week now mm-hmm. of how bad it is. But I mean, it, at the end of the day, I do want them to see. But it just does not look like it's in the cards for them. Mm-hmm. Does not look like it's in for them. Hey, maybe they turn it around. GeForce but, will now have Nvidia's fancy ray tracing graphic effects ooh. for the games that supports it. Uh, have you seen those videos? I have not. Ladies and gentlemen, I keep hearing have, about ray tracing. If, yeah, if you have not seen this, look up just ray tracing and then put in a game. Mm. You'll see some amazing things. I have amazing. to look it up because I have. If you look up tried. ray tracing Minecraft, that's a oh. really good one. It's crazy because Minecraft does like, like sometimes it can look good no matter how blocky it looks. Oh, of course. Of yeah. Course. No. Yeah. With the ray tracing, it looks insane. Yeah. Insane. Alex. Mm. Moving on to Sony closes UK PSVR studio before it even released a game. Studio stu- uh, Sony's VR focused games studio in Manchester, UK has closed down without ever releasing a game. The business, which was formed back in 2015, had been working on an unannounced VR project, but has now been shut. Quote as part of our efforts to improve efficiency and opera. <laughs> operational effectiveness end quote game industry of reports that it understands the entire studio has been made redundant it's not clear whether the mysterious project has been canned completely or it will be picked up elsewhere the company is certainly running out of uk options in any case playstation's evolution studios <laughs> shut down in 2016 and the cambridge-based gorilla followed suit in 2017 uh, the decision uh, may well have been made in uh, response to Sony's recent earnings announcement, which revealed that unexpectedly low PlayStation and third-party game sales have decreased in company's earning, uh, entire earnings forecast. Again, though, PlayStation is going through a period of transition as it moves to next generation of the console. The studio closure may well be part of a larger-term plan. Alex, what do you think of this? Do you think they're scaling back on VR, or is this just a, I think what they say for efficiency? I... I I don't. I know. I I think they're gonna keep up with VR, mm-hmm. but I think it's that maybe they're just trying to cut down. I guess on. The, I don't know how many VR studios are there. That's a good I mean, question. Like, I mean, maybe this one hasn't done much. What let's say. Well, what, I mean, they haven't done anything. You know, right? Yeah. Twenty fifteen so, is when they were made, and they haven't made a game. Yeah. So maybe that's why. Maybe, they haven't, they're, maybe. they're not giving any, enough for any revenue for mm, to, may, to well, keep them open. Yeah. Maybe they just uh, over these five years they keep checking on them and yeah, they're like, hey, on. anything. Maybe, Maybe they regret it. Maybe they're like, "Ooh, VR is not yeah what what we see as it going forward." I'm very curious if VR two is in play. Do you think they make a VR two? I think so. You do? Yeah. I, I, I think they're I, I think they're gonna keep up with the VR because they're still coming out with games for the VR. Because like for the most uh, the most recent one that's not even out yet that's coming out is Iron Man VR. Mm-hmm. Very and exciting. I mean, and there's still a lot of games that have come out recently. For example, I, like I just tried the demo for Blood and Truth. That looks it, it. It feels cool. Mm-hmm. Like it. It's like one of the most realistic VR games I've played. Mm-hmm. Like, it, but as I mean, I, they're getting better mm-hmm. compared to the when it first started. I, I echo what you're saying too. I, I think VR two will happen. Mm-hmm. Um, because it's just so ingrained now that I feel like they've already sunken sunken money. They want some returns on this. I'm wondering if it's gonna be wireless. See, that's the thing. Because there's a possibility if they work that in, mm-hmm. but if, but, uh, but that's expensive. I mean, it could. I mean, I guess. I mean, for instance, the Oculus Quest mm-hmm. wireless. It's its own unit, five hundred bucks. Is that one? Mm-hmm. Um, I'm, I'm thinking of the Go Oculus Go is the two hundred dollar one. Yes, the, sm- the smaller yeah, that's one. That's the small one. Okay, yeah, the, the Quest. The Quest is the is one. Is it really five hundred? I thought it was like maybe three. No, it's five hundred. I believe it's four for the smaller gig one. Wow, I, I maybe that's crazy. Maybe off on that, but it's for sure five hundred dollars. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the AA. 
I hope it's wireless because that's. I think Sony Sony's dumb. They know that the one issue with their VR is there's a thousand wires on it. Oh yeah, for sure. And like it, I'm, when I just set it up back again, <laughs> and I was like, "Oof, I'm glad these cables are numbered." Mm-hmm. You're on the fourth wire, and you're like, "All right, this All right. is happening." And um, now where do I sit this little DVR little box thingy? Yeah, so I can, yeah. the mini PS4 that that helps yes. run the VR game. Yeah, hopefully much. they integrate that somehow in the new system. I don't know. We well, I guess we'll know more in the reveal event that you know they're sitting and planning. Alex, they're planning on it. Do we still get a reveal event this February for PS5? I'm going to go for yes. You really? Whew. I I feel like they're going to sh- I I feel like something's coming up this February early March. Okay. I go something's coming. <sighs> Like that, like like it, like it has to be either this month or the first week of March. If they don't show anything, it'll it'll be out either right before E three or after. I'm I'm leaning towards April or May. April or May, okay. one of those two months. I'm feeling it, and I don't know why. I don't know why. I'll go with your gut, man. I, uh, it be, only because the Xbox has said when they're talking about theirs. Yeah, they have said E three. That's when we talk about it. Regardless, mm-hmm. maybe, hey, maybe maybe they'll have a bigger reveal event before. I doubt that. Yeah. They have it scheduled. It's going to be E3. So there's no way Sony's going after that. So I assume May to try and get those news articles going right before E3. Mm-hmm. And then they kind of had an E3 press conference without like, actually without going being, to E3. Yeah. So maybe then. I don't know. I don't know. But that's honestly what I see and slash hope for because I feel yeah. like that just makes more sense. Um for them of course and then we still have a nintendo direct that's not been accounted for that we're just waiting wherever that's happening i completely forgot about the direct we have we literally Mm. know about animal crossing for nintendo that's it we know no other game for this year Hmm. we know breath of the wild 2 is something somewhere yes yeah we saw that trailer and now we're like all right so we're getting a direct at some point i i would say before the end of march we're getting a direct we have to there's just no way they're gonna wait past march and I feel yeah. like we'll have one either right well, before Animal Crossing or right after. Yeah. And I don't see why they wouldn't do it right before to have like a little glimpse of Animal Crossing. Like, hey, this is what's coming out. And then we're having our big like giant direct that shows everything. Off. Yeah. Alex, mm. Bioware is officially redesigning Anthem. This is over on Polygon by Austin Goslin. Bioware's Anthem has had a rough time post-launch that is uh, saying it lightly. Players criticized the game's lack of content and poor loot progression system and the lack of certain in-game content available for the launch of the game only made things worse. Um, the lack of is most likely like there is none at all. <laughs> that was me talking for uh, for instance. But, but after a year of updates for the game, Bioware has announced that it's slowing down production on Anthem in order to redesign the game. The team is going to work to, quote, reinvent the core gameplay loot with clear goals. <laughs> I like to think about it's, it's like and, a whole different game in progression with me meaningful rewards end quote it's just like a complete it's like mass effect you're like is this mass effect not no no it's anthem 2 like what no you see shepherd standing on the side is that shepherd no 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 no, 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 that, no that's peppered <laughs> that, that's that's rick rick threshard <laughs> it's no one that you know rick threshard <laughs> <laughs> it's no one you know don't look at him uh, Anthem will also be online in its current state until the design is ready for launch. But we will continue to run in-game events, refresh the store, and will occasionally revisit past seasonal and cataclysm uh, content so that the remaining Anthem players will have something to do while they wait for the new version of the game. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't hold it together at the end there. <laughs> that's just that's just basically telling them like, hey, you're not going to get anything until we just remake the game. <laughs> so yeah. sorry, I guess. This announcement of the new redesign of Anthem comes a few months after reports from Kotaku stated that the studio will still committed to the game despite its early shortcomings and struggles. The idea of Anthem 2.0, as mentioned in these reports, sounds similar to what Bioware is describing here. Interesting. So, would you go back? It depends on how much difference, I guess, it makes. This is from Casey Hudson. I do trust Hudson on this. I mean, he's the visionary behind most of the Mass Effect series and all that, so I trust that man. Reinventing the core gameplay loop is interesting wordage. So they're just mm. looking to throw most of the things out and f- redesign whatever that means. I assume reworking the missions or whatever, f- figuring yeah. out the forts. I, I don't remember what they were called, but they were like they're like forts in the game. You remember they were basically oh, raids. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. You fight the big old spider. I remember that thing. 
Um, I, I mean, I, think I, I remember flying you. around and shooting some stuff. Yep, that's the basic. And the honestly, game. I some half the time I didn't even want to do anything but fly just because I want to look at the environment because mm-hmm. that that was fun. Mm-hmm. Probably the only part that was fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. I definitely agree with that. Hopefully, they do reinvent this game in a correct way. Mm-hmm. It. I am getting a little worried, um, only because it does seem like it's getting more and more popular to release a broken game and then fix it later. Yeah, well, like, and I don't want to sound as like the negative Nancy on that, but mm. it definitely seems like a theme now, and I do not want that to become a thing. Yeah, they where should. developers go, hey, we'll just make it crappy and then fix it later. And like, oh, that's what give... we were afraid of when yeah. patches were starting to become a thing. Yeah, and now it seems like straight up like what's going on. But hey, maybe I'm just now freaking for, out for no reason. Now for patch thirteen point three point two. This will fix the random bug that if you touch this very specific with the area, You're it will screwed. delete your save. <laughs> or just random stuff like that. Yep. Um moving on, we don't have too much else to say. You got anything left to, to leave with that? Um I'll go back, but I'm gonna see what happens. I first. assume if I go back or you go back, the other person will go back. Yeah, so yeah, so for if sure. it catches one of us, the other one will at least see what's going Try on. Try it out, yeah. Um speaking of a game that was released and kind of abandoned, the Division Two's major New York update is just what the game needs. This is a <laughs> game spot by Alessandro Villari. While the original Division took some time to define itself after its launch, its sequel, The Division 2, largely made good on the concept of an open-world looter shooter. Over the course of its first year, The Division 2's post-launch campaign fleshed out excuse me, out its gameplay and narrative set within a post-collapse Washington, D.C., where you faced off against growing enemy factions and amassed more loot. But now, players are in for a return trip to where it all started. I was about to say, the New first one was in New York, York City. Set for release on March 3rd for PS4, Xbox One, and PC, Warlords of New York is the first major expansion for Division 2 as a $30 standalone inspection that marks the beginning of Year 2 content and focused on a mission to retake the ruins of Manhattan from a couple of rogue agents. Just before U- Ubisoft's live stream reveal, we spent some time with a new and improved Division 2 set in an eerie yet still familiar New York City. Unlike the Division's two recent DLC episodes, Warlords of New York opens up a new world space to explore while also ushering in sweeping revamps to existing gear and leveling system. Continue on the Division 2 mantra of, quote, end game first, end quote. The expansion brings new avenues to level up your character and acquire more power. In addition to upping the level cap to 40, developer Massive Studio also include a new infinite leveling system to let endgame players spend those stray SHD tokens on minor stat buffs. Similar to the Paragon system from Diablo 3, the new meta leveling system is another way to increase your character's ability and the ways you want alongside finding new loot. The gear system has also been streamlined to refocus to make aspects of the character growth clearer. One big change coming to the loot is the inclusion of, quote, god roll, quote, end quote, <laughs> items, which are weapons that have particularly set of setup ups that make it stand apart from duplicates like it. During our talk with developers, they noticed that it was easy for players to feel overwhelmed by how character growth was conveyed, particularly with how many stats were displayed in the menu. In addition to streamlining the gear UI, which tucks away some of the more inconsequential stats under the hood, the skill menus have been overhauled to make it easier for players to pick up their abilities and decide on character builds. There is much, much, much more on this all over the that internet. That's a mouthful, man. Yeah, there's more on this in that article or any other article. And there's, of course, reviews on, because um, they, I think, flew out some people to play the game. So you can go in other places to play it more. Mm-hmm. So you can find out more uh, there. Alex, mm. does this excite you? This is literally <laughs> everything I've complained about the game. So yeah. that, uh, that's yeah, a good that's start. Good. I mean, you played you you played this game a lot more than I, I did. I did. I, did. Um, I played the story and that, that I stopped. I mean, I let I played it more than the f- first one. So I want to say, what, what, four weeks ago, three weeks ago, one of the one of the episodes, okay. I literally said I um did not like the what what was this the quote here. The developers noted that, yeah, that they deliver, include a new infinite, yeah. So, basically, they're going to streamline it more to make it easier to read. Because mm-hmm. if you see a gear stat and it just tells you a bunch of percentages, it's like, can you just seal this up a little bit? Like, good lord, it just is a lot of stuff going on, so. Yeah, I'm, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm debating if I want to go, I want to try it. It's March third. I'm definitely trying it. Yeah. So you can join. Well, then me. you can let me know how you it can, is. You can join me on this. Yeah. Because I, I was never a 
division crazy in mm. person because yeah, like when you were tra- I was trying to level up and I basically all forced level. you to get on <laughs> <laughs> now forced per se but Alex I'm on division get on you're like oh I'll, let me I get on division Alex <laughs> I, I guess that's forcing <laughs> <laughs> no I had a lot of fun and yeah, I'm no. hoping this fixes yeah. the problems I have with the game because I did mm-hmm. play that a lot yeah. I had a lot of fun with that game because it makes it easy to play up because we did rarely play together because I don't think you were into it as much. Yeah. It made it easy to play missions without having to need a second. Yeah. Yeah. It just sure. rerolls you into someone playing that game. So yeah. that, that was uh, that was really fun. Yeah. Um, so hoping this changes it. Uh, uh, I'm more of the division guy. But like, yeah, like I said, this is literally I think I've stayed on the podcast for this is there all my issues with the game. Yeah. I'm very excited. Hopefully the the storyline sounds good. Again, again, you can read more on that anywhere else. Uh, <laughs> I Alex, forgot that was there. Uh, yeah, Alex. Um, if for, if for everyone who doesn't know, he has a bookcase behind him, and there is a xenomorph hanging off of it. And I think he touched it and it scared him, so he looked at it like really <laughs> well, terrified. I, I forgot the bookshelf was right here, mm-hmm. and uh, it's, well, it's magnetic too, because yeah, it's magnetic. In, in yeah. The, the alien figure is, it has like magnetic print, so I have mm-hmm. it hanging on the side. Mm-hmm. So I, I just like I seen something in the corner of my eye. I forgot it was there, and so I looked at. It, I'm like, oh god, what is it? Yeah, but yeah, it's, it, it's, it's cool. definitely cool. Yeah, I love yeah. that thing. Yeah, um, but um, I jump on. Yeah, you sound so excited. I'm happy for you to play this with me. Well, I mean, that's how I felt about Doom. But now look at me. That's I, true. Oh no, I finished Doom. Well, I you, forgot. We forgot about. That. I forgot about the tweet. Yeah. Alex, what did you think about? Doom? I, I went. Ba- I went back to Doom and mm-hmm. I finished it. Mm-hmm. House Horizon. That'll be my. I'll move, I'll move that. Moving on. Moving on. Hey, listen. <laughs> So what year did Doom come out? Chuck, Tw- chuck that up on the board. 2016 and it's it 2020 did. now? Mm-hmm. It took me four years to finally finish it. <laughs> uh, what, what year Horizon come out? 2017? 20, 20, wait, what year? No, 2016, 2017. 2016? 2016? I yeah. guess I got to finish it this year too. Yeah, yeah, there you go. There, there you go. go. You, I got hey, a year. You, you have until... Uh, what's the... Didn't it come out in February? Horizon? Yeah, 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 it did. Um, I, I want to say you have month. until... Like April 11th, that's when Final Fantasy 7 comes out, mm. and then March 20th was when Doom Eternal comes out. So like, mm. if you want, if you want to finish these games before a big game comes out, I should be able to. We have all of this month to yeah. like mess around with Apex and yeah. finish games like I did Outer Worlds. Yeah, and then we have that's half of February or half of March. So like, we got oh, some time I, to yeah, still I time. plow through some random yeah. games. Um, I reached out to the Dark Siders Genesis team to see if I can get a recopy. So I really we'll, want to try that. We'll have updates on you soon if we get that because I do want to talk about that. On yeah, here. same. Um. Alex, mm. Xbox and Jordan collab teased for the 13th. So in two days, because we're recording on the 11th, we mm-hmm. record Tuesdays. They're teasing something. We don't know what it is, but it just says mm-hmm. an Xbox logo and a Jordan logo. And it says something, and then it's like 213. I'm thinking, Alex, mm. hold my hand. I gotta hold, hold my it. hand. Oh, you yeah. have to you bring this to the... Hold my hand. All right, we're holding hands now. Okay. If you remember, mm-hmm. I think a year ago. Okay. No, at XO... Okay. I think it was. Uh-huh. They had Jordan Xbox shoes on. Mm. If these motherfuckers, the, that's all. If you. this is what this is, mm. I will have to figure out a way to buy it. Yeah. Are you gonna wear? Are you gonna do like those midnight people's for hibits? No, I will order it online. Like a normal <laughs> yes. person. I have hookups, so maybe if I talk to a guy I know, yeah, maybe yeah. he'll be able yeah. to grab me one. Yeah, but right. I want that so bad. If no, that's yeah, what if, it is. Yeah, if there's some I did shoes, that, yeah, because so you're a Jordan's it, guy. I thought it was going to be a system for like charity or whatever. And yeah, I see, yeah, I see what you mean. But I, 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 one Mister Snowbite Mike at Snowbite Mike on Twitter tweeted out if these are the Xbox shoes, and he posted the picture of the shoes. Mm-hmm. He's going to have to cop one. I'm going to have to cop one too oh. if it is. Oh my god! And see, yeah, because yeah, you're a Jordan's person i'm mm-hmm. a vans person so mm-hmm. if vans ha- ha- would ever make an xbox like shoe you bet i'm down i hope you guys heard some of those a- a barks from the dogs yeah. I-, I think that's what really draws most of the people who listen to our, yeah, hey, our podcast they, they, the they, hear the do- they hear the dogs and they hear, they're like puppy <laughs> where, where? all right that, that's enough of some jordan talks all let's right. head over to team ninja and see what they're doing team ninja knows fans wants a new ninja Gaiden game mm-hmm. ign let's get ready for this yeah i know this is over on ign by matt kim neos 2 director has revealed that developer team ninjas already think about making this next game what's more team ninja says they're aware that there is an appetite for more ninja Gaiden games and yep. that coincidentally they've been inspired by a recent wave of ninja themed video games themselves interesting how that's worked Team Ninja is a development cell within Koei Tecmo, known for games like Ninja Gaiden and Dead or Alive. During a recent preview event for Neo 2, IGN was able to sit down with the game directors Fumiko Yasuda, 
who's revealed that the core members of the Neo 2 dev team worked on Ninja Gaiden and that they want to make a new game soon. Maybe another in the ninja genre. You know what they're going to do? What? It's going to be a sequel to Ninja Gaiden 2 and just don't, don't even worry about 3. Just reboot it at this point, I'd say. Just make a yeah. new oh, yeah, yeah. thing. Yeah, make like Ryu. Ninja Gaiden Black again. Yeah, I'm down for it. Or, or, you know how Ninja Gaiden 2 was with the weapons and stuff and the, like, the way that you were able to upgrade them and change them and stuff? Like when you upgrade them, they change the way. Like do that again, but like with a whole like a different story, better graphic. Like that'd be awesome, because I love two. Two is my favorite. The core members of the team have worked on Ninja Gaiden and want to make a new game. Said you see that quote. We are aware that some fans wanted Ninja Gaiden more than Neo Two. <laughs> now we see a lot of Ninja games like Sekiro Shadow Dies twice as well, and we see a lot of good inspiration in those games. So we hope to deliver some good news one day. End quote. E three. <laughs> Well, well, Yasuda doesn't outright confirm a new Ninja Gaiden game is in development. He does confirm that Team Ninja is aware of the request from fans mm. for a new Ninja, Ninja Gaiden game. Mm. Uh, they have a lot of new ideas about the genre from recent release <laughs> titles. Yasuda cites From Software Sekiro, which is a ninja swordsman on a mission to rescue his lord from usurpers. And while Yasuda didn't mention these other games, there are other ninja titles in development like Sucker, Rose, Pun- uh, Sucker Punch's Ghost of Tsushima. There hasn't been any official Ninja Gaiden game since 2012's Ninja Gaiden 3, not counting the 2014 <laughs> spin-off Yaibi Ninja Gaiden Z, but it seems no. like it will be a real gold rush for Ninja games, so if one of the OGs in the genre wants to stage a comeback, there's plenty of excitement for them to do so. E3. Alex, there's you're a no, madman. Hey, E3, there's going to be a teaser. Mm-hmm. All you see is... You know, you remember the the beginning, uh, the 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 what is it? The Team Ninja like yeah. animation thing, and, and, yeah. The, and it has like a bunch of waves. Mm-hmm. The and all you all you see is Ryu's face, Alex, his you're hyping his, me up his goggle, like his, his 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 uh, eyes, and then the mask. Mm-hmm. And all you all you hear is, oh. and that's it. That's oh. all you see. I don't, that's all I don't want. That's Alex, all I want. You're bringing me on an adventure, and I like it. That's all I want. If they come out. And say, and they've somehow gotten the exclusivity on this, which I don't. Mm. Maybe, oh, I don't Xbox know. exclusive. Well, I don't think so. I, I, you don't think I, so? Oh, Ninja Gaiden a, Two was only on Xbox, wasn't that's it? That's true. Ninja yeah. Gaiden Three was not. No, Ninja Gaiden Three was on PS3 um, and 360. So maybe if they could, that'd be a big deal. I don't mm-hmm. think they would because it's just too much money. You can get the other way, but hey, maybe I would love that. They do that all the time. I mean, look oh. at Spider Man. Imagine Spider Man on Xbox. <laughs> But I would love that. It's I, please system. let it happen. Give if, me. If that's true. I've been I've been waiting for Ninja Gaiden because I keep usually, saying usually people don't talk about this stuff unless something's going down. Usually, mm-hmm. so m- there is a, maybe there's some maybe they're working some stuff, mm-hmm. ra- writing some stuff down, calling mm. some people up, seeing if they can do it. And that's one of that's one of my uh, predictions. <laughs> I'm calling it. Uh, You're wild. Xbox Xbox uh, stage or whatever. Mm-hmm. It's a, a Team Ninja's new game. Oh, my God. Yep. I, I, I hope it's Ninja Gaiden, but they're going to show off Team Ninja's new game. I don't or think so, it. because I don't think they're a big enough studio to do two games at one. Well, no, Team Ninja's pretty big. Mm-hmm. I guess it is possible that they could have I mean, split the teams into I mean, two yeah, games. Sek- is Sekiro is Team Ninja? No, From Software. Oh, that's Software, okay. Yeah, From Software. Um, what was that one? That, Neo. Yeah, Neo 2. What, uh, what, Neo 2 uh, right what, didn't Team Ninja was doing something else recently? I thought they had something else. No. Ninja no. Theory is Hellblade. Is that what you're thinking of? Maybe, maybe that's what I'm thinking of. They do Hellblade, and they're making the second one, and then they're making Mira, which is a problem. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Yeah, look at them. I could be wrong. I, I, I faintly am with you with, like, they are doing something. But like, I thought sure they were doing something, and, and like, like before, and I feel like it's, and they announced Neo 2, so they're like, I'm like, oh, well, they're working on Neo 2 and this, so. Yeah, there could be, hey, there could be a second team working on Ninja know, Gaiden, yeah. whatever it would be, so, I, I, I hope so. Yeah, uh, same. I hope so. We can only hope at this point. Alex, this mm. is sad, but hopeful news. Oh, no. Gears of War boss will join Blizzard to oversee the Diablo franchise. IGN by Matt Kim. Friend of the show, Rob Ferguson, Gears 5 director and head of Microsoft's The Coalition Studio, announced that he is leaving the company to join Blizzard in March. Ferguson says he will be overseeing the Diablo franchise in his new role, stating in March, I will join Blizzard to oversee the Diablo franchise, said Ferguson in a farewell tweet posted on his personal account, leaving as bittersweet as I love our Gears family, the fans, and everyone at The Coalition and Xbox. Ferguson began working in games in 1996 at Microsoft. In 2005, he joined Epic Games as part of the development team on Gears of War. He worked in some capacity on every Gears of War game, including Microsoft acquired the Gears of War series from Epic. 
and stated and started up the Coalition Studio. Ferguson last served as director in Gears 5. Hmm. Sad, but nice, because, you know, he's moving on to something else that yeah, he probably yeah. is more excited a about. Of, a lot of people are moving you can on. O- you can only stuff. do so much, right? These are veterans, and they yeah. want to move to something new. He's been yeah. in with Gears. They want a fresh start. He's been ge- he's been in Gears <clears throat> since the first game. So, I, I understand. Yeah. I understand what he's doing. So, uh, you know, wish him well. Hopefully, Diablo, because, again, Blizzard is on fire right now, so hopefully... That he kind of fixes whatever is going on there. Hopefully, Diablo comes out good. <coughs> let's all hope. Whoops. Oh, Alex is just DDT'd the mic. Um, but yeah, let's let's hope that all turns out well. Because I'm hopeful for Diablo, but they scare me. If I'm being honest with you, with all their Diablo? craziness. Yeah, because no yeah. one liked World of Warcraft Reforged, which seems like a cop out. So I'm hoping. Yeah. I'm hoping for something else well i mean is there, isn't there something a diablo 4 coming yeah, out? yeah yeah there's that yeah, yeah. the crazy cinematic slash yeah, movie yeah. that we got that was yeah. wild that, that everyone should look up that yeah, that's just cool to look ex- at give excitement to me oh yeah for yeah. sure i'm just i want gameplay you know? oh yeah for sure i, for I sure. always hate that stuff i'm like yeah, remember, eh, remember I, i've always said i'm like they're, they're not doing the whole gameplay on stage thing anymore give me more of that mm-hmm. i want to see the game like let me pl- watch somebody else play the game mm-hmm. <laughs> guy with a controller playing yep. it like god awarded Remember oh. that? God awarded that. Yeah. Um, Alex, this next is a small tweet mm-hmm. um, because I will not go into the full financial report, but you can go into it and it tells you a little bit. But anyone holding it out, oh, let me start over. So there's an orning call for Ubisoft, right? Okay. This is where they talk about all the stuff that's going to happen. This first tweet is by Shinobi602 um, on Twitter. He's a great follow if you want to go give him a follow. Great an, an analyze guy, a guy sort mm-hmm. of. So Ubisoft will launch five AAA games between April 2020 and March 2021. So five AAA games mm-hmm. between April of this year and March of next year. Jesus, that's, that's a good bit. That's one yeah. basically every other month almost. Yeah, that's like yeah, it's a game every a month and a half. A month and a half. Two months. Mo- yeah, it's, yeah. it's like two months. Yeah. Let's say two months. Yeah, two months. So that includes Watch Dogs Legion. Yep. God and Monsters. Uh-huh. And Rainbow Six Quarantine. Yep. The other two are also from Ubisoft Ubisoft's quote biggest franchises, end quote. Assassin's Creed. And Spinner Cell. Over on Drayson Shire, oh! he retweeted this. Okay. Anyone holding out hope for Splinter Cell is once again <laughs> going it. to be disappointed. Come on. Sorry. In uh, parentheses, it says it's Assassin's Creed and Far Cry. Another so Far it's going to be another Far Cry, and I, it's going to be another Assassin's Creed. Well, we have we had Odyssey. What, what was it last uh, last year or the year before? It's been. I Would have like been it, the year before. So it's been almost two years. Yes. That, I mean, they, they, it's do, for new they do a few games, wait a year, do a yeah. few games. They, they see, I'm, I'm enjoying that they get they get breaks now with mm-hmm. AC because now I, I'm I'm. Itching for some Assassin's Creed. It's definitely Assassin's Creed Ragnarok. So we're Rag, just waiting Rag, on whatever it's called. Yeah. Uh, we can all pretend like it yeah, is. Yeah, it's Splinter Cell. And then Far Cry, it's just going to be Far Cry 6. Whatever that turns not, out to I be. I mean, I'm, of course I'm going to play and I'm going to like mm-hmm. it. Of course. But I mean. But you want Splinter Cell. Yeah, because I mean. We all well, do. Dude, the last Splinter Cell game remember was when Blacklist. Those, remember, this was one of the early stories we covered. Remember when those Ubisoft executives got drunk and, and mm-hmm. just tweeted a bunch of Splinter Cell stuff? Mm-hmm. That was strange. You remember uh, Skull and Bones? The one, the oh, game that God. got delayed yeah, and is revamping everything. I think uh, that is a complete rework. Like, yeah, that yeah. game was probably not yeah. nearly done, but it was. You know why? It's because everybody, everybody, when Assassin's Creed Black Flag came out, I was like, "Oh, everybody loves the naval ship." Stuff. We'll just do that. So we'll do that. And when then, that came out, they're like, "Well, can I walk around and be a pirate?" No. What, oh. What, well, what am I? Well, you're the ship. What? I'm just the ship. Can yeah. I, why can't? Why no. can't I get out of my ship? That's not. That's not yeah. what we wanted. Yeah, I just want Sea of Thieves, but more like Assassin's Creed style. Oh, for sure. Yeah, so that's that's pretty much what I want Call of Duty to be. Just make like a Sid Meier's Pirates game. Yeah, and if that'd you be, know what that'd that be, is, that'd be awesome. I'm sure I just titillated you. If you know what that is, that's an amazing What's game. It? Okay, I was about to say Sid Meier's Pirates. Sid Meier's Pirates. Yeah, because yeah, I because I, I, totally the original I Xbox. thought about playing that one. It's on the original Xbox. I want to say. Yeah, it's a good game. Yeah, good game. Great game. No, yeah, but but yeah, don't get your hopes up. It is not Spiller Show. I wish it was, Alex. I'm right there with you. Wish it was. Mm. Alex, mm. I want to bring up a new segment. This is called Grab Salt, Chug It Until You Die. All right. Interesting. So, 
<laughs> Alex right. is probably surprised because what I have written here is called grab a bucket of salt. <laughs> <laughs> so he probably wasn't expecting that random uh, string of sentences to be put together. Nope, I was not. But I, I am serious. Let, we'll call it grab a bucket of salt. Okay. So let's just grab a, a huge bucket of salt with every these next two stories I'm going to read you. Okay. Because okay. this is all very sh- rumory type things that rumory. could be Got it. Okay. garbage. All right. So... This is over on comicbook.com by Tyler Fisher. New Batman Arkham game release window and major details reportedly revealed. Don't mess with my emotions like this. The new Batman Arkham game is in development at Warner Brothers Montreal, which... Before we start there, that... I 100% believe is true. Oh, for sure. That is, yeah. that's true. I mean, I feel like they, they've already said that because I mean, they, they had the emblems and everything from have. the owl. So I just want to clarify it to the audience. Okay. Just in case they don't read as much. Oh, yeah, yeah. That yeah, is okay. true. Yeah. Now, if it's an Arkham game, I think that's a little mm. disingenuous because I believe it's going to be. The Court of Owls. The Court of Owls, but I believe it's going to be like a basically remake. Yeah. Because so, it's, I mean, I'm sure it's Arkham style. Or like, you know, it's like fighting, things like that. Because, I sure. mean, that's the only Batman games we've for had sure. is but, Arkham. But I think it's going to be more of a remake. So yeah. let's let's go back to the Arkham. Okay. Is mm. reportedly, uh, I'll start over. The new Batman Arkham game in development at Warner Brothers Montreal is reportedly releasing sometime this fall. And will be a soft reboot of the franchise now that developer Rock City has moved on from the DC Comics hero. The report comes way of the GWW. <laughs> I don't know what that is, right. which tells that various sources have revealed that the story is being rebooted, which is perhaps why it's taking so long to develop and release. The report also notes that the sequel to the latest game in the series, 2015's Batman Arkham Knight, was considered at one point the game was going to star Bruce Wayne's son, who was going to inherit the cape and cowl from his mm-hmm. father, and the plan was to announce the game at Game Awards 2016. Before this could happen, one of us interactive entertainment can the project in favor of starting over. Interesting. Before we go on again, that is a rumor we heard of a long time ago. Yeah. It was going to be Damian Wayne, and it was yeah, going to be yeah, him yeah. taking over. Yeah. That's where I'm like, okay, so maybe every rumor by this time is true. So we're, let's let's go back to this. <laughs> Unfortunately, this is where the details largely dry up. It's noted that the game will kick off a new, more cohesive DC game universe. Further, it will apparently be followed up by Rocksteady Studios' new DC comic game, which is a next next gen joint. And lastly, the outlet uh, site sources claiming Give a Superman game now. is also in the platform, not from Rocksteady, though. Of course, all this information should be taken with a grain of salt. Remember, bucket of salt. All right? Don't take a grain. I want you to have a bucket. Isn't there, right? I know that's kind of the opposite of what the saying is, mm-hmm. but, like, do not... <laughs> this probably isn't real. But like any official source, and given the sheer number of reports about this game about uh, over the years, it's probably a wise idea to maybe pocket a few extra grains of salt while you're at it. Give okay. me. Okay. Let's this, dissect this for a second. Give me this. All these. I don't think this is real. I wish it was. <laughs> so everything I said before, Batman Arkham game and development at Warner Bros. Yeah. 100% true. Yep. We know that. Mm-hmm. The whole part with the 2015 Batman Arkham Knight was considered at one point the sequel with Damian Wayne. Mm-hmm. That was a rumor we heard around 2015. Mm-hmm. Now, I don't remember if that rumor was... It got canceled or not. I remember the rumor was that they were making a Suicide Squad game at one point, And oh. that got canceled. Mm. So, this then moves in to where I think this is fake. Unfortunately, this is where the details largely dry up. It's noted that the game will kick off a new, more cohesive DC game universe. Further, it will apparently be followed up by a Rocksteady's new DC Comics game, and then another uh, game studio will make a Superman game. That sounds too good to be true. Right? I'm being very serious. That literally sounds too good to be true. And very, mostly when a rumor sounds too good, mm-hmm. it's probably fake. This reminds me of um, the Grand Theft Auto rumor that was someone made like a year ago, maybe now, maybe, probably six months ago. So Jason Schreier retweeted like mm. a rumor, and he said, this is 100% fake, and I know it's fake. Yeah, It was essentially the, a person detailing what GTA 6 story is. Oh. It was a revisit of Vice City. Yeah, They had all these things. You can leave from Vice City to San Andreas to whatever other like all it the was other like ones. you basically yeah, yeah. try and it was basically jason schreier was like if it sounds too good to be true it probably is because he literally like stated like a perfect game like what everyone yeah, oh, yeah 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 for sure this for is sure. i kind of have those feelings about that statement okay. at the end there i'm like oh, okay this is probably fake now even though mm. i think it would be a good idea to make 
a comic book universe in quotes you know what i mean no no yeah where for we sure. have a batman game we have a superman and game, and then they like a, i mean wonder it'll... woman martian yeah. manhunter yeah. i don't know get weird i mean and it, kite it's, man yeah. <laughs> all right and catwoman i don't know just you know, let's get weird whatever yeah. you want to make yeah so it's it's like the movies i mean it's like a cross i mean though uh, it's like it's just its own universe we haven't had a game like that yet no not even in comics just any game period no one, no game really has had like a the closest you can get, I think, is Super Smash Brothers. Like, that's the baddest closest you can get, and that's not really what that is. Yeah. I'm just, like, that's the closest we've ever gotten to, like, a game that has, like, separate games, and then it's going to come together in one game, kind of like Darksiders, where you have, like, the four horsemen. Yeah. They're eventually probably going to team up in one game. So, like... Oh, I mean, we don't know. We, we, we don't know, of course. Maybe, Maybe Darksiders, Darksiders Genesis four, Darksiders. shows them all dying. Well, that Genesis was a... I know, it is. I'm just not saying okay. right. Maybe Darksiders 4, mm-hmm. because four horsemen... Oh, yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I, get that I, I think yeah. that's what's going to happen. Yeah. Now, what do you think? You're the hype man. All right, you get me excited. Let's go. What's, what do you think? I, I strongly believe we're going to get the tease for the game sometime this year. Or, or, or wait, wait, not that... It said it was supposed to be released this, this year. This fall. This fall? I believe that. I believe that. I believe that. They're teasing the game when already. We'll, when we'll see it is a big question. Do we see it at PlayStation's event? Um, if history is to be proven, they just announce their games randomly, and then mm-hmm. they're shown up in other places. Yeah. So they'll announce the game on, let's say, a Wednesday, and then they'll be like, we'll be at X thing. Yeah. Um, I think it's either at Sony's reveal Mm-hmm. or xbox's reveal now mm-hmm. the bo- now what i was saying before the arkham games were announced randomly mm-hmm. that was rocksteady and i know it's the same publisher that's doing all this but i do feel like that yeah. changes it a little bit my thing is like who which stage would it be more hype for playstation already has an existing history with them okay so I could see it being at PlayStation more than Xbox. Because if you gonna, remember, almost see, every game has had PlayStation exclusive content. Yeah, and first see, game had the yeah, Joker um, yeah, the, thing. Yeah. The second game, I think, had um, something. The thing is, they're not going to be at E3. They're going to do whatever they. Uh, w- let's say if Sony does their their re- the reveal thing or whatever they have, I guess next uh, the like, PlayStation Five reveal is that what you're saying or State of Play. I get. Well, there's no way they can show that off at a state of play. No, no, I no. don't think so. I'm and, just saying. I like, mean, and, but they're not at E3 either. So where would they even show it? A reveal event for PS5, like how they did in PS4's reveal event in February. And they would review. Do you think they would? Re- let's say we get the reveal event for the system mm-hmm. this at the end of this month. Mm-hmm. We would see the game. Do you think that's too soon? No, I don't no. think it's too soon. I believe it's coming out this fall. Yeah. Or we'll get pushed to next beginning of next year. I believe that. They've been working on this game in theory For since while. Arkham uh Night. Not or, not Night. It's uh, WB, so they made um oh my god, what's it what's it called? Origins. Origins, thank you. Yeah, no, um, that one's been out for a while. That 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 was twenty thirteen? No, that was last gen, so that had been like twenty twelve. I'm pretty sure that was on 360 and all that. It was. Yeah, it uh, was. It was for sure. So it was like 2010, uh, 2012, around there. That was, like, that was a it was while. The one, it, I mean, the game came out before uh, so 2013, w- 2013. Yeah. So, I mean, they've been... I, it's it, been seven years. Can you look up WB Montreal's history? What if they? That was their last game they released, right? I cannot think of another game they've released since Arkham Origins. Let's Good see. Lord. I, I feel like that's not right. That can't be right. Let's see. Have they gone eight years without releasing a game? Mm, let's see. I'm going to their web page because I literally type in games, and I usually I think the, a list would pop up. They should have a Wikipedia or something. Oh yeah, good point. We of course are using Bing. Yes, we are. This podcast is sponsored by Bing. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Don't sue us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all uh, we hear, all we hear is uh, this is Microsoft with Bing. <laughs> Yes, I'm yeah, Mr. Right. Bing. I would like to uh, have your house because you're screwed. <laughs> yes, sir. The hand of the deed. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Games developed. There we go. There you go. All right. We got uh, some, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for being patient. Head over to patreon.com slash if you've been enjoying this. Give us a dollar. That helps us a lot. That keeps the mics on, the lights on, and Alex's dog's fed. If you want them to starve, don't give us any money. That's fine. Wow. Just let them die. They've done. <laughs> I just gave him like the worst look ever. Your face. Um, I love my dogs. 
They've done nothing. The last the last thing wasn't even a game. It was a DLC pack for Arkham Knight. Oh, they helped with one of the yes. DLC packs. Uh, Scarecrow's Nightmare Pack. It, it, all the night, all the the story packs was in 2015. That's the last thing they've done. Before that, 2014 was Lego Legends of Chima online. <laughs> Before that was Arkham Origins, and that is it. Whew, I they haven't know had that. They haven't had anything. So they were just helping with DLC. So mm-hmm. they didn't even have a full game since Origins. Good yeah. lord. Games developed. Yeah. I'm very, very curious then of what. Hopefully the game's good. I Now I kind of second get Like if uh, Origins was good, even though I did feel like some mm-hmm. things were just a little bit off. Well, I think it's because we're so used to the other ones, the Arkham games. So I, I meant it's... literally like. um. I feel like with my reversal timing in that game, oh. and this was, I think, I, and, and the only reason I'm confident about this because other people were saying it. Yeah. Like, the reversal timing seemed to be off, so, mm-hmm. like, I think some, there were certain things I need to find, too. I do think yeah. that has probably the best beginning story? to end story. Oh, good. Because the Joker part, when you're mm-hmm. walking through that, that was And, awesome. the, and the, 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 the death joke fight. That was really cool, yeah, yeah, yeah. At the time. I don't know if that's still good. I would love to go and play that game again, but it's I remember it was hard. Game. I remember I got yeah. my ass kicked a lot. Like the, the sword. Well, I think there was, an, was I think there was an achievement yeah. to where like if you, you fight, if you fight in one that you can't get hit. Yeah, yeah. I think I got that one. I don't know. I, I might not have. A, I think it took me a while to hard. get it. Yeah. That was a hard game. Yeah, that was a hard game. Alex, mm. get the bucket of salt again. The Wolf right. Among Us two release date reportedly oh, revealed man. again. Comic book Tom by Tyler Fisher. You can see a <clears throat> um, a theme if you are uh, noticing certain things mm-hmm. during the Game Wars twenty nineteen in December. The newly revived Telltale game revealed that they've. After being canned by the former Telltale Games, the Wolf Among Us 2 was also being revived. At the time, not much else has said about the project, but there was no word on a release window, platforms, or even a pitch on what the game would be about. What we did get was a new trailer, and despite being nothing more than a teaser, it was enough to get fans very excited about the prote- uh, prospect of playing Bigsby Wolf again. Mm-hmm. Fast forward a couple months, and some new uh, alleged details about the game has been revealed by the same Reddit source that previously leaked the sequel's announcement before it happened. According to the source, the long-awaited sequel won't be arriving this year. It's sometime in 2021, which is as it could be a cross-gen game or possibly even a next-gen only game. Will not happen. Whatever the case, the source notes that the Telltale game developer Ad Hoc had taken their time with the game's development, which is something Telltale has echoed in the past. In fact, not only is Telltale not rushing the game out to the market, but development is apparently, quote, on hold at the moment. The report notes that while a ton of assets for the game have been made alongside the game's core mechanics, Ad Hoc still needs to finish the game's story before continuing with development. Uh, They haven't even finished the story yet. Yeah, I know. That was probably a little too early of a teaser, but hey. Yeah. The report also mentions that some locations have already been determined, such as Woodlands, Bigsby's apartment, and his business office. Of course, all of this should have taken with a grain of salt. However, as okay. mentioned above, the <laughs> anonymous Reddit source has leaked Telltale announcements before they've happened in the past, which means it's worth at least entertaining their newest case. Interestingly, the report also brings up a sequel to Tales from the Borderlands, which is apparently going to be Telltale's next big uh, project after The Wolf Among Us, uh, Us 2 ships. Hmm. Dope, if that's true. Yeah. Alex. I am so excited. This is a little more credible than the other one. Yeah. Right? This is an anonymous source, but they've gotten other things right in the past. Yeah. So we can give this a little more credence than the other thing we went over. I do think this is probably real. No, yeah, for sure. This seems real. This doesn't say I mean, anything we've outrageous. Had a, I mean, we've had a teaser for the game already, so. Well, what I mean is, like, it's coming out next year. I would, yeah. And I think I believe the next project being Tales of the Yeah. Because I didn't play that one. Games. You did. Fantastic. Yeah. Surprisingly good. Literally, yeah. I mean that in the biggest way possible. Yeah. I had no interest in that game ever. Period. That's how I feel. At no point in Borderlands one or two did I go, "Oh my god, the story is so good. I wish I could spend more time in the world." Mm-hmm. But then Tales of the Borderland does such a good job in making it matter, and you care about the characters. That's good. Loaderbot. That's all I'm gonna say. Loaderbot, best character probably I've ever played in a Telltale game. Oh wow! Is he's so good, so good, so good. Um, but hey, yeah, those, that, that is. Yeah, I, I believe all that stuff for like roughly what it is. Yeah. Um, not too much there, even though I do uh, hope that the Tales thing is real because I love that game. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's the news for the week, Alex. Alex, I have one question for you. What is your question? What are you going to play? 
I'm going to go play some Apex. Yeah, we are definitely going to play yep, Apex for the Valentine's have, Day mode. I have the next two days off. We can do so. duos. Yes. Oh, yeah, there. that's what you said. Yeah. yeah duos. Cool. Yep, so I'm staying up a little late Me tonight. Too. Even though I'm a little tired, I'm going to try to I push f- through it. I feel decent right now. Yeah. I slept in, yeah. which was glorious. Yeah. Waking up, glorious. Not having to wake up for anything. Mm-hmm. Also, early. I had today off, if that wasn't clear. When you were reading one of the articles, mm-hmm. I had my eyes closed. Felt I didn't great. know. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I had... I was thinking of something, and mm-hmm. I had my eyes closed, and I was like, I just realized, and in my head, mm-hmm. I realized I had my eyes closed. I was like, I don't want to fall asleep, so I opened them, and you were staring at me. So I was like, hoping you didn't think I, I had actually dozed off. I didn't notice you close your <laughs> eyes for a second, and I looked up to say something, and you had opened them right. I was like, did he just, <laughs> did he just close his eyes for a second? <laughs> I didn't notice that he did it either. It was one of those split second thoughts that I didn't think of after that, but I literally yeah. look up, saw your eyes closed, and it wasn't that blink, and I was like, what is he doing? <laughs> I had to mention it because I just, I, I, I was laughing in my head all about. It. I was like, we really got to record these things. They don't believe us for these random occurrences that happen. <laughs> yeah. I want, I want someone to like, if if we if that was recorded, I wanted that clipped out and tweeted at me so I can just that that would be an amazing gift. Just yeah, me right. looking up and then you just eyes closed, not even reacting to what <laughs> I'm saying. <laughs> uh, but no, I'm I, I want to play some Apex and then and then I'm gonna look through my game list and see if there's mm-hmm. any game because I've been playing a lot of the VR. Mm. Yeah, so I've been playing some Beat Saber because I bought some song. I bought some songs mm-hmm. about the Panic at the Disco pack. That's cool. Yeah, because they had the Greatest Showman song, one of the songs on there. So I bought the pack. This is the Greatest Show. Yeah, that one. So I've been I've been loving it, and I'm I tried the bunch of the demos on there. I just been in the VR mood, and then I noticed there's a new games on there, like the Doctor Who one that I really want to try. Mm-hmm. So Sonic Screwdriver. I'm excited for this one. So Bing. you gotta that. you gotta you gotta actually watch the Weeping Angels. Mm-hmm. So you gotta walk backwards. That's so like, cool. So, so you're, you're a Doctor like, Who fan. That sounds awesome. Oh yeah, I love Doctor. Yeah, so. I, I about you? finished Outer Worlds. So I yes. am in a weird position where I'm like trying to figure out what else. What's next? I have no idea. Where I, off the top of my head, mm. I have no idea what I'm gonna play. Go through your list. I th- I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna yeah. sit down. If you have a recommendation, audience, uh, tweet at me. Um, but yeah, right now I, I have nothing. I, I definitely yeah. want to play Apex. That's like my night game. So yeah, like during like the, the day, yeah, to whenever end the, I'm to like, end the night. Yeah, yeah. So I, I don't know what I'm gonna be playing any other time. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna have to look down. Maybe I polish Division off. Maybe, Maybe. and just see what's going on there mm-hmm. in head of uh, March third. Yeah. Um, I do have a clan. I think that's still alive there. Maybe <laughs> that I might see if they're still yeah. there. Um. Yeah. I jumped on Breakpoint yesterday just for a second because i wanted to check out that terminator event how did that go it, we, i didn't so, talk to you about that so it it ended the 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 the, the event ended on so the what sixth. does that mean so it means that you, the 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 missions are still playable you just don't get the rewards but after i finished the mission i received some of the rewards from the tiers so i got like the sunglasses the Terminator sunglasses, and then I got like you know how you can put tattoos on your. Arm? There's a robot arm one, so like I got okay, that. Okay, I might have to jump on just to do like, that one. Was it cool enough for me to jump on and play it? Nah, like like okay, it's like well. it's okay, but like I thought it would be like it would come all the way down. It comes like on the side and then stops like right here. Does it, it look like a sticker? And you know what I mean by that. No, like, I know what you mean. Does it look like they just no, put a sticker on them? No, but it doesn't look cool enough. Oh, that's and I was hoping that you would get. Because uh, one of the rewards, uh, and I don't the know. Eyeball, if, right? Yeah, it's like the face thing. It's like the the face is ripped, and it has like the red with the skull. I wanted that, but I don't know if I can get that. But uh, you do fight. Uh, you do get. Uh, it's an MK11 gun, and it's called uh, Termination, and it, it's to kill Terminators. So I want to try cool. and actually kill a Terminator and see. Because there's a scene where the thing comes at you, and he just has two shotguns and just walks, starts walk. He's done. He's doing Terminator walk towards you, and you're like, That's dope. "Whoa, this is weird." That sounds cool. Yeah, it sounds cool. I might have to jump yeah, on. Yeah, so just it to is. Try it, that. it is cool, but I'm like, can it can it be better? Can it? This is the right. Is, yeah. a, is a great question. Can yeah. it be better? Yeah, probably. Um, I'm, I, talking about division does get me excited for a little more division. Yeah, I'm just trying to think. I don't think I have any. I have a lot of movies que- queued up on the Amazon. Yep. Prime. I have a lot of shows I need to catch up on too. Yeah, uh, I want to try and watch. Um, I need to finish that Godzilla show that you haven't mm-hmm. watched. Then cool. what on Netflix? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need yeah. to finish. That. I enjoyed that one a lot. Like I said, I don't know why, but it's like one of my favorite Godzilla. Not adaptations, but uh, for him, the way he looks, his like his art style, or, or just the way he looks, I thought it was all awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, 
but you know, I, I need to catch up on all the CW shows and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna be going back into uh, to watch a movie. Knives Out is a big one I want to watch. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a bunch. Of, I can't even name. Yeah, all there's a know. there's a bunch of movies. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, that's it, guys. Thank you all for listening. Head over to patreon.com slash cgachievers to give us the buck to keep us happy. Keep the mics on, the lights on, and Alex's dog fed. If you don't give them any money, you can't feed them. They're going to die. So, you know, live that with your conscience, all right? Sad face. Again, <laughs> thank you for listening. You can always go uh, every Friday is when we post. If you do not want to give us the buck, we understand. Give uh, Head over to uh, every Friday on the podcast servers of your choice or YouTube. G- um, give us all the likes, the watch time. That helps us a lot. We're still a baby channel, so we need the help. Thank you for listening. Thank you so much. Uh, scream at us on socials. 